All right, coming to you live and direct from sunny Brooklyn. Continuing with our discussion of Hasidus, the potential that the mind has to control over the emotions of a person. Uh, the Rashab brings the example of uh, a baby in utero, that all of its faculties are virtually in concealment. Its brain isn't function, isn't thinking, that none, nothing that is going on in the body is being controlled by him. The gears are moving, the body is growing, the organs are working and functioning based on what science will call the, the autonomic nervous system, etc. But it's not due to any of his own, uh, of his, on his own accord. So this is a muscle that the Rashab is using to show a person existing and functioning, thriving without using his mind, without controlling his emotions based on uh, understanding or reasoning, an Ayid is still able to come to the, the level of uh, turn away from evil and do good. And this isn't, like I said, this isn't based on anything that is going on in his mind. It's based on an innate quality that the Yid has. An innate Ava Vira that comes, that shows that it's still able to function and process and and, and properly, properly thrive as a Torah and observant Yid. Not based on his Seichel, but based on the innate qualities that a Yid has.